Hello and welcome to this review of Winter Haven Farms eggnog. This is a pre-mixed eggnog. Uh, it is from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It's 14.75% alcohol, 29.5 proof. So there's a look like a Pennsylvania wintertime scene with a barn and some and a house, farmhouse, mountain, snow, smoke coming from the chimney. Could be a northern Louisiana wintertime scene because North Louisiana gets the kind of weather and has hills. Home style made with a fine selection of rum, brandy, and American blended whiskey. And they're spelling this eggnog. Now some of them spell it one word, eggnog. So. Um, you may be more familiar with their premier, premium brand which is uh, Pennsylvania Dutch, also made with rum, brandy, and American blended whiskey. Cram full of goodness, made and bottled by Meadow Brook Distillers Company, Philadelphia. I checked the trademark information on this, and it is Chatham International, which is another, which is an alias for Jacquin Etsy who makes Pennsylvania Dutch. Okay, and plus a lot of other cordials, that's their main thing, this kind of thing, and cordials, but they also have a line of rum. They have brandy, gin, vodka, whiskey, and so they do all that. Uh, um, we don't get too much of it around here. We do, I can't get the rum in the next parish over, uh, next town over in this parish. Nice looking label, been on the market since 2008. Is it the same as the Pennsylvania Dutch? I don't know. I bought this at Total Wine and more. And at Total Wine, it was $8.99. The uh, old Santee from Sazerac was $8.99. And then the Two Star, which had a different, I believe, uh, proof, was a dollar more. I don't know what. And Two Star is a Sazerac also. So I don't know why that's more expensive. Only a dollar more. But um, maybe next year, check out the Two Star. The Two Star and the Trader Joe's eggnog. Well, that's very sweet, just that little drop. All right. Milky egg white color because it's made with eggs. Milk. Well, think of a, a, someone asked me, I think it was a person, a viewer from England, said, I never heard of eggnog. I said, well, think along the lines of custard, like a liquid custard. I, just, I thought it was all around the world. I thought all countries had eggnog, but... Okay. <clears throat> Sweet. Milky, eggy, creamy. Now, this one doesn't say made with real dairy cream. But anyway, if you read the uh, United States Tax and Trade Bureau website, they don't even have to put that because as long as it says eggnog, there has to be a certain percentage of eggs, like egg yolks, egg whites, and um, dairy. Probably done to protect producers of dairy and eggs that they're not selling stuff called eggnog that doesn't use that, that mimics it. So probably to protect the farmers. You know. But um, I don't remember the exact specs, but it's definitely it definitely must contain a certain percentage of both of those um, if you read the tax trade bureau website so it smells like that very dairy oriented okay let's go with the taste being a higher proof than the other ones um, you can pick up a little bit more of the liquor the blend of liquor and the rum, the brandy, the whiskey. Now you might say for $8.99 a bottle, are they using their highest grade of rum, brandy, and whiskey? I think you know the answer before you ask the question. It's sweet, but it's not overly sweet. Okay? It's not overly anything. If it if it has any preponderance of flavor, it's the dairy, the dairy cream, or the, just maybe it's milk. Um, but I think what I read on 
Tax and Trade Bureau was it had to use had to be cream. And it's very pleasant. Is it different from Pennsylvania Dutch? In my mind, it's not different, but I would have to do a side by side. It seemed like it's more dairy, but um, I haven't had Pennsylvania Dutch for a couple of years. So once I run out of brands to try, I guess I'll do some revisits. Because by that time, it'll be years since I've had them. The, the ones we get around here all the time. The, we do get Christian Brothers, but it's rare. The common ones here, everyone carries Pennsylvania Dutch. There's no, if anybody has eggnog, they're going to have Pennsylvania Dutch. Of course, except Trader Joe's, who has their own brand. Other ways, everybody's going to have that. Benchmark, many people are going to have that. Good price, too, $7.49. At Mathurin's. Um, I remember when it was $6.99. Um, what's another one I'm thinking of? I'm, miss, I'm, I'm trying to think of it. Well, those are, those are biggies right there. Um, so we'll add a little cinnamon. That nutmeg would probably be a good thing to add, too, I do believe. It tastes cinnamony. <laughs> Very delightful. I would say it's certainly a bargain. I've never seen it anywhere but Total Wine, but I don't think it's a Total Wine house brand. I just think uh, I hadn't seen Two Star anywhere else, but they are. Or, in fact, Old Santee, but they're not saying that it's registered to them. It's just they have a lot more variety in other stores because. That's what they are, a wine, beer, and liquor store. Other stores have to sell groceries, and they can only get a few brands. Okay, so uh, obviously if you go to any grocery store in November, December, January months, you're going to see, especially well, after January, they'll be trying to sell it off, but uh, you'll see a lot of eggnog around. Unspiked, just in the dairy cooler, and the spiked, the hard eggnog. So 94 out of 100. A most excellent product, 94, a solid, most excellent A. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana.